What does John chapter 3 verse 16 say? John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now this morning, I want to share with you at least four interesting things that John chapter 3 verse 16 teaches us. 1. The first thing that John chapter 3 verse 16 teaches us is God's love for it says, For God so loved. The reason why, God so loved, because God himself is love. 1 John chapter 4 verses 7 to 10 says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this the love of God was manifested toward us, that God has sent his only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. 2. The second thing that John chapter 3 verse 16 teaches us is the object of God's love for it says, For God so loved the world. This means that God loves you and I it doesn't matter who you are, God loves you. You can be black or white, rich or poor, young or old, God loves you. It doesn't matter if you good or bad, God loves you. It doesn't matter if you've been to prison or not, God loves you. It doesn't matter what you have done in your past or in your life, God loves you. In other words, no matter who you are, what you have done, God loves you. You are the object of God's love. He loves you with an everlasting love. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 3 says, The Lord has appeared of old to me, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love, therefore with loving kindness I have drawn you. 3. The third thing that John chapter 3 verse 16 teaches us is the sacrifice of God's love for it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. What is the sacrifice of God's love? It is Jesus Christ dying for the sins of the world. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says, But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, was buried, but in three days he rose up out of the grave with all power in his hands. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 3 to 4. Like and subscribe. Thank you click my link below, Ronald.